Looking at specific genus and species of isopods, each with slightly differing care needs, we've produced a series of videos based on the species specifically. Firstly, where it comes from, the habitat it might prefer, and moving on to any care best practices for this species, which again may differ, if only ever so slightly in some cases, from a very diff similar species, or at least a species from a similar location or appearance. The Kibaris panda king can be seen as a small to medium sized isopod with a usual length of around 1.5 centimetres. As typical with the Kibaris genus, these will ball up into a classic pill shape on occasion when moved suddenly or perhaps feel threatened. Kibaris panda king coloration is usually black with white on the second to fourth segments. This, as most species of Kibaris, can have quite a bit of variation within broods, which can produce some very interesting results as morphs. The origins of the Kibaris panda king come from caves in Thailand within Southeast Asia. We draw the, from this both soil composition in the area and the fact that the genus was originally found in caves. As you might expect, Thailand is hot on average, just below 30 degrees centigrade. However, as Thailand is considered tropical, it can be a little more humid than the Mediterranean setups with a humidity of around 60 to 80 percent. Based on its original location, temperature should be kept around 20 to 26 degrees Celsius, as the location is tropical and this should be a mirror of this within your setup. Using sphagnum moss as a hydration station, this would allow a gradient of water and humidity, but keeping it to the wet to medium side with a 60 to 80 percent humidity, but never being fully saturated. Spraying of the other elements of the substrate will assist in maintaining of humidity. Cork bark flat should provide suitable hides. The species are also seen to be enjoying the holes, which decor such as limestone based rocks, again, which would mirror the caves, might provide. This species would need a source of calcium provided within limestone rock based sources, which is much more sustainable than cuttlefish bone. They would, of course, need protein. We find dried shrimp a good way to add this. Like most isopods, they will predominantly decaying hardwood and dried hardwood leaves, but fruit and vegetable will both be enjoyed. They have also been seen to be enjoying carrot, courgette, sweet potato, amongst other vegetables. The isopods can be slow to establish and breed, but they do breed more successfully compared to other of the Kibara species, such as the Kibaris rubber ducky. The Kibaris panda king can take 1 to 1.5 years to reach fully grown. With the high humidity of this setup in comparison to Mediterranean setups, then pest control would be a heightened factor, as pests may thrive in the same conditions. Some springtails added may help to manage this. Thank you for watching. If you have found this video useful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. This will give you updates on new releases of a similar nature. This is very helpful to us. We do appreciate it. Check out our social media links found within the description of this video. We also love discussion, especially if you have another point of view. Please add your comments, it helps us improve our content. We do have plans to make many more videos in the future, however these might have content updates as our work progresses. Our videos might be updated and re-uploaded at any point as our research progresses. Thank you once again.